Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 3, the Bronze Age mod as the, as Egypt. Let's continue on from the last left off. So, we're trying to conquer our way down the Nile, and unfortunately, I have run into a bit of a situation where we're losing a lot of troops. Um, so we should be able to retreat these guys out in a few days, but I'm actually not too sure. I know, I know you can. I just don't remember the information for when you can actually retreat is, because we want to retreat... As fast as possible. Do I not have a commander in this army? Wait, 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 wait. I don't think this guy has an... Do you not have a commander? Well, that seems like that could be a problem. Um, but we'll keep on fighting. Until I can retreat. Which should happen... Soon. Let me just, like, spam click. There we go. So we've also got a perk available for our theology. Let's go with... Convert Phelan County, which we don't really need. There's Religious relations bonus up. You know what? Let's do cultural fascination. Let's do some like scientific stuff. Seems like that could be good in the long run. And our mercenary contract expiring in... How... When are you expiring? Soon, I'm assuming. So, you know what? Let's just send your contract out by a little bit. So, you guys are here. You're retreating your way up towards the north. So we're going to have about 1,700 men. We're going to actually retreat you guys towards the uh, the actual city here. Which should have a slightly higher... No, the supply here is actually still also garbage. There's 2,500 men. Let's retreat back to uh, friendly territory on the Nile. Can I raise any more troops? Yes, but how many? It's literally a single guy. Okay, well, we'll bring him along, just because why not. You inherited uh, a territory. Okay, that seems good. Uh, where is that? So we have the four here. We have three down here. But you're like a temple, right? Yeah, there you go. Just get that out of my uh, my way. We have won a war up towards the north. Like, I could call in a vassal. Well, not a vassal. We could call in this guy towards the north. Never mind. He would not accept. So, we won't worry about that for now. Let's get these guys all together. 2,500. All right, 100%. Oh, fantastic. I don't know how, but there we go. We have won our war, even though I really don't feel like we deserve it in even remotely. Uh, we're above our domain limit. We will have this territory. Grant that to you. That seems okay. Congratulations to your new territory. And you have become our vassal. I could create a duchy down here. Is there any more your territory in that duchy? No, it's three territories big. I was like, we could make it, but... I don't really think we have. They're also being raided up towards the north. Uh, so what we're going to do is... We are going to disband our armies. I'm then going to create some men of war regiments, which I really feel like we probably should have had a while ago. Um... Let's do two Axemen. They're very expensive, I understand. And then we're going to do one Light Footman, one Bowman, and then let's just say a uh, Spearman as well. These guys will slowly be training up. Our piety at least is now increasing in a positive direction, which is nice. And we need to keep fabricating claims on, you know, territory down here. I mean, how close are we to actually forming the kingdom? We're at 26 out of 31, so we need five more territories. Um, so, you know, one, two, three, four, five. And then hopefully at that point, everybody else will just kind of accept vassalization if we're lucky. So we're going to go for fabricate claim on you. Are you blind? You are blind. Natural dread, penalty, prowess. Unsurprisingly, if you're blind, you can't do very well when it comes to uh, military stuff. But I mean, you're, um, we can also lawfully imprison you for being a fornicator. Yeah, I mean, there's no, I don't think there's a reason to, really. And let me just make sure that everybody on the council is, you're not a powerful vassal. You're also no criminal. Um. Taxi, no, stop, stop, stop what you're doing. Not be reassigned till... Like another five years. So never mind. I guess I will not replace you. We'll do this once again. Um, and I, I believe you're actually not a powerful vassal. You are, you are, and you are. So if you can get someone else who is good at being a chancellor, 
who's also a powerful vassal. We can't because both the people who are powerful vassals suck. So I think we're just going to keep you in charge for now. 19 diplomacy. I think that's pretty good for us. So how long until this is done? 23 months. Gain plus four. Because your learning skill is just horrible. It takes you a long, long time to get this done. Scheme in the court. My spy spies are coming to be grave new if you're certain. And my own son and heir is scheming against me. I can go free. My son is trying to murder me. But you're not my actual heir, right? You're... Wait, who are you? You are... No, you are my heir. My heir is trying to murder me. Just because I'm 73 years old and a lunatic. But I... He's about to... He's, he's probably going to take over the kingdom within the next few years. Um, Increase my martial by two. Thank you. Oh, fantastic. I feel like I've gotten really lucky with these events. But for the intrigue... I guess I, I didn't expose my son. I mean, son, I'm about to die very soon anyway. So... You've been burdened with your personal loss for far too long. Peasant rabble or lose control. You know what? I'm just going to have a peasant rabble. You're actually going into somebody else's territory, which makes my life easier. You can raise 700 men. They only have um, this many. And actually, I believe you get your um, the mercenaries as well. And look, the peasant rabble has not been put down. We're only at 43%. Oh, they're also up in the north as well. So, you know what? Let's go and kill them off. A dangerous faction has enough military power to send an ultimatum soon. 50 learning. Or 250 piety. Yeah, I, I do need the piety to at least not be in the negatives. And what is this faction? You want to lower province control against you. Is that it? We've got our schemes here, but I actually don't need to be scheming against you because you already love me. We want to be scheming with probably the powerful vassals. You hate me, but I'm going to sway you. Why do you hate me so much? You're a negative 100, one seat on the council. You're my rival. I mean, that's understandable. Can I just, like, murder you? If I could murder you, it would make my life easier. Intrigue. Invite. Almost everybody refuses to. You'd give me a lot of success chance. How much you want? Money? You want 150 gold? Fine. I'll spend the money. 17 months. 80, 71% chance of success. 86% chance of secrecy. Which seems pretty good for me. And then I will enforce my demands. Thank you. So I feel like we're doing pretty, pretty well for our uh, little kingdom here. Now, when are you going to be done? You got nine more months. Contract's expiring. You only have 651 men, which really is not that many. Increase size of two. Cost 150. You do an extra 100 men. Which probably wouldn't be a bad, bad thing. I mean, we're making like nine ducats per month. My wife spent a significant amount of time traveling around with her honor guard. There are many matters she can settle on my behalf. And the military presence of her brings with her a firm reminder of my right to rule. Let's go for the prestige. That seems like an okay thing. Because people, I believe, do like you more for high prestige. Overtaxation causes bandery. My my uh, counselor has died. Congratulations, then. If my counselor... No, my spy master is dead. You're pretty good at being a spy master, so I'm going to sign you. Congratulations. Now you won't hate me as much. I do have more perks. Development of county fit needs plus 20%. Court physicians cost less. We could wash our hands. Apparently, that's, a, that's an entire perk that you need to do. Uh, let's go for religious and relations efficiency plus 20%. And an assassin. 70% chance that he's killed? Do it. I believe in you. Okay, we gained 24 dread. Has happened. I've now gained the trap, the trait murderer. 
So people know that I've murdered that one dude, which probably makes them not happy with us. I mean, murder's actually only a negative 15. Not, not so bad, really. I proud to document was ancient. 105 gold. Give me the uh, Costas Belly. Thank you very much. And I'll also fabricate a claim against you. Do you have any allies? You do hate me, but that's probably because I'm about to try to take over your territory. You have five allies? That's way too many allies. Why are you all aligning yourself with each other? Makes my job significantly more uh, difficult. Yeah, I'm just going to ransom these guys off. Even though I'm not getting the uh, the best amount for it, I still think it's okay. 13, I will assign you. You still don't like me very much. I'm all, Yeah, I am a murderer, but it's like, don't worry about that. I am still a sinner, but we might become dutiful uh, soon enough. And my grandson, I think I married off. Oh, fantastic. We want somebody with good alliance power. Um... You get negative 200 per... Yeah, no, that's fine. I mean, I don't think I'm losing the prestige. I'm pretty sure it's my grandson losing prestige, which doesn't matter so much. And you are... You live here. So. I don't know how that affects me. I have two allies, but I'm pretty sure... You only have 107 men? Why do you not like me? Kemenic is hostile. Are you a different religion group? Oh yeah, you're Berber, right. And I'm greedy, and I'm arbitrary, and I'm a murderer. You know, those are all pretty good reasons not to like me. I'm going to declare my war, and then I'm going to raise all of my troops here. We have 3,000 men. We want to kill these guys off in smaller groups. You called four of your allies in. But as long as I can kill you guys in smaller groups, it should be okay. And again, I only need to siege down this one territory and we should be good to go. You have a claim on a territory. Where is this territory? It's way up in the north. I'm not going to be able to push that. I apologize. Yeah, and even if they have a lot of troops, it's going to take them way too long to yeah, mobilize against me. So I'm just going to, hey, enforce my demands. And congratulations to me. I have a new territory. I could make a duchy, but I don't think I need to. And I'm just going to grant this territory to, let's just say, this courtier. Congratulations to you. More land for this guy. So, do I have any Costas Bellies against anybody? We could ransom you for 100 gold. I will do it. And I can create a new duchy. But again, I don't really think I need to right now. You're still the fornicator, right? I'm going to arrest you. And see if maybe I can get some money out of it. 70 gold? I'll take 70 gold. Thank you very much for your contribution to uh, the country. After that, I want to go into my military. And I think my archers... I can make them very large. Yeah, make them size 5. There we go. 500 archers. It's going to be very, very expensive to maintain those guys, but I still think that's kind of okay for us. And we're, we're still relatively rich. We're still making 8.6 ducats, even with uh, reinforcing all these guys. So, And once they're reinforced, then they'll, they'll cost significantly less. It just costs a lot right now because we are uh, fabricating the claims. And lawfully imprison you. You are a adulterer. 66% chance to succeed. She is now in my jail, and would anybody want to ransom her? Apparently not. Spouse, growing fonder. You are my wife and friend. My s even my son is 51. Put on a shirt, my dude. Um, Become friends. Let's go for Wenny. Seems okay. You guys can be friends. Did you, yeah, you're a 51-year-old. You're dating a 46-year-old. You have four kids of your own already. 30 opinion. How is, um... How's my sway going? Not in decisions. It's in intrigue. You're at plus 89. So we already probably don't need to 
sway you anymore. The person in my court. You're at 89, you're at 30, you're at 0. Let's make my sewer at least like us somewhat. Because she's very eh about us in uh, total. 105 gold, thank you for the money. And then, hey, congratulations, I'm going to declare war on you. Raise all of our troops. Bring them to the front line. So we can raise my entire army right now. We won't be making money. But even if we're not making money, just having, um... I'm just trying to murder my, my court chaplain? She actually is kind of garbage, so if she dies, I'm actually not that, uh... Worried about it. I call him my ally, I'm assuming he's gonna say no. What if I sway you? Well, actually, you know, after I'm done swaying my, my, uh, steward, then I'll try to sway you. Look, 100% war score, fantastic, enforcer demands. So then I will grant this land to... Aspiring Blade Master. You're a robot. You know what? Why not you? Actually, you like me more. So, you know what? We'll grant you the title of uh, Swati. Congratulations to you. Yes, please like me. I really would appreciate it. Uh, I did get the 10 opinion boost. And the Sway will be ready in two more months. 80% chance of success. And yeah, plus 35. I will say that I think Swaying is incredibly overpowered in this, uh, in CK3. You've locked a new lifestyle perk. Fantastic. Let's then go for Piety from abilities plus 100. Level of Devotion impact plus 100. Let's go with you. I mean, the fact, like, we're about to die. You're at death's doorstep. If you have an heir, you continue playing as them. Am I sick? I mean, I'm a murderer. But I am 78 years old, which I would say for somebody living in 21, um, 20, what is it, 2090, pretty good, actually. Uh, you are at war with, you are at war, war with you, 5,500 men. I'll accept, just because it'll make you like me a little bit more. It also costs you prestige, which actually makes my life easier. Does my son have any claims? He's a reaver. He's, he's good at raiding. You also have negative 168 piety. Why did, Why are you... You're gluttonous, ambitious. I mean, you're generous. So, I mean, that's okay. You have absolutely no stewardship at all. So, you probably want to improve that ASAP. You have an error. Therefore, it's a good idea not to spend too much gold. So, you can afford mercenaries or gifts. Secret exposed. You are my vassal. We will seize you, and I'll ransom you for 80 gold. Congratulations. I will now be making more and more money. So I'm hoping that when I die... Well, I mean, is my territory going to get split up? Probably between my two sons. You have... Three sons and a daughter. None of them are that old, actually. Like, how old's your oldest? 20, 15, 10, and 5. Very consistent. Every five years, it seems. So what do we want to do now, then? Because you're improving our piety a little bit. Our dynasty is known far and wide. Well, I mean, that's good. Like, we're one of the biggest names on the map. So I hope, I hope we're known far and wide. Because um, right now, our kingdom... We need to go for Upper Egypt. We need three more territories. Which shouldn't be too difficult to get. I'll try to fabricate a claim. Because it should go to my... Um, it should go to my son anyways. I believe my claim will go to my son. I might be wrong on that. But I feel pretty confident in, uh, in my knowledge there. You are my granddaughter. You should marry. Foreign ruler. Probably not a 61 year old. You're also, like, the most powerful for this. Um. Why are you all so old? Special alliance down in the south. Yeah, let's just see where these people are. Where are you? You're actually down there. 16-year-old and 61-year-old? I'm sure that's not weird at all. Congratulations. Have fun down there. 
Just kind of, just don't think about it. And did I die? No, we've won our war in the north. Now I have died, which is not a surprise. You have died. We've le left the world 79 years old, died of heart failure, which is it's not too surprising. New culture head. This is you. I have now taken over uh, for culture. I've become head of the dynasty. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. I do only have two domain slots. And also, I didn't lose any territory, which is nice. Um, because you're martial education, you get 30% more skills here. But I already got 12 out of 27. I think I do want to go for some stewardship. Probably just like domain focus for a plus three. Just any amount would be nice. Yeah, you're still liking us. I think plus five, plus ten for you is really good. What what is my wife? You're ten four set. You're really really smart. You're lustful, generous, and just. Maybe that's why we had so many uh, grandkids. So, right now, we want... Because we're actually generating negative one piety. You're still fabricating a claim. Can I change you to be somebody who's not garbage? You're a powerful vassal. You're already my steward. You're both powerful. I'm going to sign you because you have, like, twice as many stats. So you're a little bit better for us. I mean, plus ten? Because you're negative one. But I got, you don't actually increase... No, actually, you do get piety. I think right now we'll go for you. Now we're only losing 0.4. My wife is she's very religious and very um educated. Yes, I I, I know what the, the main limit is. We'll probably just get rid of these two territories down towards the south. They have 10 men and no gold. Compared to all the money that we're making in the north. So I will then grant these areas to. You don't like me. Probably because short rain, right? Yeah, short range a negative 20. So I will then grant you this territory. Congratulations. And then I will grant organizer one-eyed. I will grant you this territory. So that seems okay for now. Um, we could create some titles. I, I'm not too worried about any like succession crisis. My brother... He does have claims to all this territory. But, I mean, you do like us. Your title claim it. But I'm, I'm really not too worried about you. Honestly. We're trying to... Wait, I'm trying to... Mur no, we, we know this uh, thing exists. Right. So, I mean, we don't care about her anymore. So, right now. I need to... We're fabricating a claim. You're improving relations within the realm. You're all basically doing what I want you to do. Freeze development by one. Which ones are a capital? Our capital is here. I will then increase development in our capital. Which is great. And I could create some, like, dupedal titles. If I wanted to. The question is, is do I want to? It costs 250 gold, which is pretty expensive. But you might already be a vassal. You're already a vassal of somebody. So, if you're already a vassal, then probably making another dukedom title. I mean, it could get my dukes to go to war with each other, which could help me out in the long run. But 610 gold, I think we are going to go for a pilgrimage immediately so I can make some uh, piety back. And we'll go to as far away as we possibly can. But I think that for right now is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So, thanks everybody for watching my Spanish If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. Not doing it, always thumbs down. If you want to subscribe, and goodbye.